As you know, the House uh, did not take up the tax bill last night uh, because uh, we didn't have the votes to pass it. It's not the outcome uh, that I wanted, uh, but that was the will of the House. Uh, so unless uh, the President and Congress uh, take action, uh, tax rates will go up on every American taxpayer, and devastating defense cuts will go into effect in 10 days. The House has already passed bills addressing the fiscal cliff. We passed a bill uh, replacing the President's sequester uh, with responsible spending cuts and did it last May. Uh, we passed a bill to stop all the tax hikes uh, on the American people scheduled to take effect January the 1st, and we did that on August the 1st. And we proposed plans over and over again that Democrats uh, used to support, but now they won't. Uh, I don't want taxes to go up. Republicans don't want taxes to go up. Uh, but we only run the House. Uh, Democrats continue to run Washington. What the President has proposed so far simply won't do anything to solve our spending problem. He wants more spending and more tax hikes uh, that will hurt our economy. And he simply won't deal honestly uh, with entitlement reform and the big issues that are facing our country. Uh, we need sp significant spending cuts and real tax reform uh, to address our long-term uh, debt problem and pave the way uh, for long-term growth and real growth uh, in jobs in our country. Uh, we'll continue to work with our colleagues in the House and the Senate uh, on a plan that protects families and small businesses from the fiscal cliff. Listen, there was a, a perception uh, created that, uh, that that vote last night was going to increase taxes. Now, I disagree with that, uh, with that characterization of the bill, but that, that impression was out there. And we had a number of our members uh, who just really didn't want uh, to be perceived as having raised taxes. That was the real issue.